very boldly, which should come as no surprise. And he's gonna, it's actually not him, it's Ethan who gets the first pick onto the board. Austin continuing to push his way forward, gonna get traded out, but nice. his kills are going a flurry. As Hiko trades back one of his own, the spike is dropped. Swipo and the rest of Exit look to continue to hold on to control this site. Hiko's left alone in this situation. He's nowhere near the spike as well. But the thing is, Lex, I don't think they know where he is. But in a 1v3, even if he does, made it to clear out the site again, nobody's there. But Exit hasn't had to do the same. Now they're going to have a good bit of utility to try to retake the site that shouldn't, in theory, be able to be matched nearly as well. But that in mind, Exit still doesn't have the gun advantage in terms of these rifles. You're seeing that pay off. And well, when you've got a Vandal in the hands of Nitro and his ability to produce like that, you understand why. But we did try to even things out. As it's still 3v2 in favor of 100 Thieves, Hero has no health left. Asuna good for two at the end. The bonus stops right there. Must take their time. We saw there just clearing out that. Ooh, Dude. look at that. All right, so this counter wall goes up, but keep an eye on that spot right there. Pure is good for another one, and he's going to blast back on top of the tube, looking for more. He actually gets shot right in the back of the head. Unfortunate circumstance, but even with Aaron's the one exception. He's got light armor, and he's going to have a ghost, but that's all. And the aggression from Exet seems to be dialed up at just the right time. Ethan trades it out. With Wifo getting in on the action as well. Meanwhile, we did elsewhere on the map. And at this point, 100 Thieves have a choice, right? You're seeing some of the rotate off, but Nitro so far up. He can really cause problems here for Xset. Well, good for one, good for a second as well. Not able to... Perhaps in the coming moments, dropping that spike. Yep, yeah, there it is, going down. Spike now, Wifo's one point away from the res. They have a couple of options to him, but it may not be needed at all. As we did gets onto Ethan, he go alone in a 2v1, but you know that's never a sure thing if you've watched... Really, Hiko, at, at any point uh, in situations like this, cheeky shock darts to get him off the defuse. Did not even seem ready once that round ended, but wow, I don't even know. Rez is huge on top, yellow awesome. Taking these long range duels. Oh. We did get to get the better of him. A headshot, finding the raise. The white bow pushes in, denies the plant. And there is just left. two players left here for this 100 Thieves attack. The steel has lurked all the way through oh, wow. mid and behind DCJ. And now it's just pure trap towards Snowman. Finds one onto Hiko, and it's a 1v1, Doug. Here with 70 health left. Steel does have the spike. Perhaps, but doesn't fully commit to it. Pure reach catches that timing. Jump! Hey. Yeah, they've taken the, the middle of the map. They just go right under the tube. We did answers the call. In his own Viper Spit, gonna leave that up. The Wifel is in a great spot too, right behind down, Ethan. Beat. The spike doesn't go down, it doesn't get planted, excuse me, but it does drop. Asuna looking to trade things out as he takes care of the Wifel. The Viper Pit is still just a problem, as oh. we did know, it looks away at just the wrong time. Aggression from 100 Thieves, you saw we did pull off. And now they understand that that's where the play's coming from. Pure got one, he got traded out by Hiko. The, the patience out of BCJ, who. Of course, as I say that, <laughs> he drops. We did still on the other side of the map as well, while 100 Thieves seem to still want to hang out by A. Yeah, just giving themselves some time, some breathing room, make Xset second guess their rotations. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm getting a little bit of early oh. info, but he gets a little bit more than he bargained for with a uh, hot lead haircut from Steel. To bring this down to a two on four now. We did making his way over towards the A site. Aaron still over here at bracket. Could cause some problems. Wait, no instead, way, bro. The rope tricks, man. Oh, that Five feels bad. And he'll get on the weeded too. <laughs> Up the middle. We haven't seen an aggressive look like this from them. Alright, here we go. Hunter Shiri coming out. Austin is following it as he gets deep in. He's going to use the showstopper as well. It's by time, right? Oh, Aaron! Aaron swings at it just the right time! And he's going to back out. He's not going to get caught by the lockdown. They don't have a ton to clear it out. I try anyway. PCJ. Hunter Shiri, no, he's actually... I mean, he's looking for the kills. Yeah, and he's going to get one onto Ethan, looking for another seal with the op. Trying to ensure that nobody works their way into the site. He's going to get a chance at a couple shots here. Oh no, he looked off! Like, if they're gonna wanna try to take the site, they're gonna have to come back very soon. Weeded goes in, gets one, gets wow. a second, and they get the defuse. The thing is, 100 box. 
However, so much concealment over here at the choke point coming into A main. Neither team really knows where each other are as Thwaipo in the top side of two finds one. You're with another and Hiko answering back with a shock dart and a classic burst. A bit more in his favor, but again, he's still outnumbered. They swing it. It's a nade that deals considerable amount of damage and cleans him up. The shock dart coming in from Hiko. But it's just delay at this point, right? Like, 100 Thieves, they can't work their way in, and you question whether or not they even really want to at this point. If you know they're locked in towards B, just try to stick them around long enough to maybe get a couple of casualty kills through the spike, but they manage to work their way out. They manage to work their way away. They get and three out of it. Yeah, I mean... Five grand finals. Careful, boss now. Careful, boss. Oh, man. So we hadn't seen an aggressive look like that from 100 Thieves at all. Where they, they weren't able to net any of the early kills. Now he's just getting off board. Now he's able to clean one up. Apira trades it right back as he goes out. Two members remaining on the side of 100 Thieves. As Exit get back to full strength. Exit looking real nice this round. Wow. Yeah. I, I'm Only 20. Now 25 seconds left. You've really, you've got to commit to this site, right? You're just going to use the showstopper. They're not respecting it, right? They're just tanking it. Austin just stands there. He gets blasted in the face. Yeah, the kill gets traded out. But again, with so little time left, you understand why they don't respect it as much as they should. Commitment coming out from X set. The showstopper from Austin are not going to connect. But the dart may have been enough. No, they're not going to be able to land any of the kills while Nitro still is back over towards A. Another from BCJ trying to clear out Snowman. Once again, the value that he gets from that ult is absolutely insane. As Asuna drops, but that's the only one that's dropped. Ethan now falls as well. Steel trying to stick with easy taps. He pulls up, goes in aggressive. We did greets him gladly as he gets three. What a pretty round. And so this this once very promising push left. from Xset towards B is going to be pushed back oh, by no. the lockdown into the waiting arms of Nitro. Was pushed through A main all the way towards defender spawn. Finds the first headshot. He's joined in a crossfire by Ethan who finds one. Make it two. And it's just weeded in a 1v5, Doug. And he's oh, even locked man. down, man. He is wiped out. And it, 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 like 100 Thieves players, you're just kind of guessing. They have to go in aggressive, right? They have to work their way in. And that's such a big kill. That's going to drop things. But pure. Remaining. Good for three. Nitro trades it back out. Aaron left alone in a 1v2. Spots one. The spike is still not down. He does have time. And he's got a 1v1. But it's against Hiko. No utility. Well, Aaron does have a good bit to work with. But Hiko clutches it out again. Options here. Exit doesn't. Also worth noting, Aaron's on a light gun, BCJ's on a light gun as well, but they're going to have to work their way in. The flank is still left unchecked. Keep an eye on Asuna on your minimap, folks. He can blow this thing up. If, if there are even any remembers, any members, excuse me, that remain by the time he gets there, but Ethan and Nico are doing janitor duty just fine. So, a lot of the information is just coming from this B side of the map. And BCJ, who's just batting a thousand with his Hunter Fury today. Alright, here we go. Showstopper coming up from Asuna. Gonna destroy Wipo as it looked like he was trying to get the spike down. Not able to. Steel getting one onto BCJ as well. Aaron's got the Cosmic Divide now, but he's even gonna get a chance to set it off as Purer just narrowly dodges death. Pure in a 1v2. A brutal 1v2 as well. Should be able to pick up the spike. He doesn't have time to rotate elsewhere on the map. Got a decent idea for one players. Now he knows where they both are. No way! Pure good for one. Pure oh. looking for the second, and Ethan clutches out the 1v1. That they opt to go for the armor. The Hunter Spear coming up from Hiko. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. He gets one. Asuna gets one as well. As it looks like overtime is almost a certainty here. Two members remain. One, they do it in flawless fashion. Lex, it wasn't a... Oh, I get a chance. He's pushing through smoke. Seal is. And he gets the gunfight win on Weeded. Nitro still at the site, the Paranoia is going to come out, and the dart was there at least. The spike goes down, but Thwaipo somehow manages to stay alive. He eventually drops at the hands of Nitro, but he's going to get tagged up as well. Members of Exet continuing to drop like flies as Aaron and Pure are the last two that remain in a 2v5. Nitro can very confidently just look to stick the defuse without really any hesitation. See just how talented these players are individually. Oh, right man. there, a duel from Steel again. He's coming up huge for his team in OT. 100 Thieves pressing the matter towards A on the attack side. The wall went up from Thwaipo, and it looks like they want to stick it anyways. Asuna works his way forward. The wall goes down. They find Thwaipo waiting on the other side. A much better gift than what would have been the other way around. Aaron getting paranoid up. 
as Hiko gets in on the action as well. Steel looking for a second, and Lex, this is... I, I mean, this is dominant out of 100 Thieves. It's dominant, but it, it's coming off the back of some miscues that I just spoke of. Just getting caught out of position. So tragic to see is 100 Thieves is not going to let you make those mistakes. And Weeded is looking cracked right now. It won't matter. Nitro finishes it off. But 100 Thieves who haven't necessarily looked like they look lost. But when you're catching a paranoia, you're getting scanned by a recon dart, and you're that far pushed up, it's going to be a bad time. Yeah. Nevertheless, 100 Thieves now looking to win this game. First over to you. Can't confidently pull back. And stopping this plant is going to be priority number one for Steel here on top of this double stack. But he finds the first on the we did. With the wall already down, one player off the table who possesses. They're stuck, bro. There they are. They're going to have to fight their way through it. Dwyfo's already good for oh. two. Aaron's off the loan. They're just blind firing into the smokes. They know where he is. He's got one armor, 76 health. And while they may know where he is, he has no idea. Asuna kind of dancing around the site. The nano swarm to delay things as the spike goes down. Now XM looking to see what they can do for a retake. A great wall. As Ethan's in a really good spot again, just to delay, right? Like make him think twice about it, not give any easy entrance. Onto the site, but Exeter are running out of time. They're gonna have to go, and they're gonna have to go here soon. A couple kills traded early on. There's just one left. Again, it's Aaron. We've seen him in, in situations like this a couple of times where he's looking. To, he has no idea where it is, but they're really looking to mess up the economy of 100 Thieves if they can make something happen. Ethan with a cheeky wall spot. Good for one on BCJ and the second one as well. And you're seeing that investment not quite pay off. Yeah, Aaron got one, but 100 Thieves are still in a, such a strong position. Worth Wifo has to make some magic happen. And he's gonna get a chance. Good for one. Swings around. There's no one else home. Nitro's in a good spot where he can really play spoiler. We did get tags up. Gets tagged up. He has to back off. And he's gonna get paranoid as well. It really... They've gotta deal with Nitro, right? Like, you can't ignore him. We did was in a brutal spot there. He gets cleaned up. Wifo Spectre is the last thing that stands for Xset. Get past Pizza for Asuna. Catching a quick vandal shot for BCJ to end it. Finding one more on the steal. A second oh, wow. one. Nice. Trades it out, but now it's a four on three. So made it a three on three. Finding a second on the we did. He gets the spike and he's gonna from the shadows back into the back of the site. Aaron drops as well. They're gonna have full access onto B. We should be able to get the spike down. Nitro does. Pure and Thwifo looking to retake the site. Grenades come through and hurts. Right? It's just enough to reposition and get the kill, but Ethan trades it back out. Ethan, Dwyfo in a 1v1, Dwyfo swings, it was Ethan who's trying to get... And the Hunter's Fury to back it up and create some space, he does find a tag, make it two in a frag on a pure, he falls to Hiko's Hunter Fury. Cosmic Divide comes through as well, as you see members of Exit start to rotate towards A. Spike hasn't fully committed. So much more difficult to get onto the site, again, 100 Thieves very confident in taking control of the site before they get the spike down, get everything that they want, ensure that they have full control. So a quick unfolding of some utility as Aaron's getting hunted back in Boathouse. The Wifo will be the first. He actually does get some consolation frag. Hack, <laughs> you still have Pure who's on the site. BCJ's in a great spot. He's gonna get smoked off as Wifo drops as well. BCJ having to use the Hunter's Fury. And nobody really able to push him aggressively here. BCJ good for one. Nitro managed to take the middle of the map. As he once again finds himself behind Weeded. Hiko looking to get the plant down. He's not gonna he's gonna have to do it very quickly as Weeded gets a big kill again, still having to respect where Nitro is, sniffs it out, is able to land it a 2v2 here as Weeded just down to 59 health. They're gonna have to play this very carefully. Nice thing is they do have some time to use some of Aaron's utility. As they creep forward, you see them both pushing in from opposite sides. As they look to see how they get in here running out of time there's no more time really ethan already drops and hiko drops as well x also not, not able to get the spike down started thought about it meanwhile nitro <laughs> dies on the other side of the map you, you remember he used that hunter or excuse me from the shadows early on he drops as chaos continues to ensue on a certainly going in favor of x as they have the numbers advantage two members remaining for 100 thieves and they're certainly not healthy Asuna weak, Hiko dead. 
4v1. Defense of the Alamo type to handle that fine. But there's certainly more where that came from as Asuna continues to follow up. Hiko using Hunter Siri, not going to tag anything up. But the spike does go down. Asuna is still trying to play like interference, right? Play defender, not let anyone in from tree. As Steel looks to do the same up in heaven. Ethan's getting in on the action as well. It's a difficult site to retake in a position like this. But Aaron looking to do can be CJ trying to as well. As he gets things down to a 1v1, he's only got 10 health left though. Ooh. And as soon as wall goes up, he's able to work his way across safely. Potentially looking to get his way behind the wall. He does just that as he takes care of Weeded, takes care of Thwaipo as well. Looking for more drops, pure three. Aaron alone. Eco's gonna get the spike down. He has a Spectre. And he's able to clean up Asuna. Finish that, right? There's nothing to stop them from working their way through the Cosmic Divide right now. Yeah, a little bit of a preemptive pull on that, however. Paint shells rain in, nanoswarms go out, all the utilities being dispensed, pure pops the showstopper. And for one, behind the gen, he gets it. Ethan gets punished, I mean, instantly swings, gets punched in the mouth. Eco looking to get one with his Thunder Fury, he does just that, looking for a second, gets it! <laughs> I think a lot of it is conditioning, right? Like, are we gonna push through the wall, are we not? We'll see them do that almost consistently as the... the Madness ensues. Now they're going to continue to creep their way forward, but members of 100 Thieves have already taken so much space. They're basically there. Aaron's in a good spot to play. Interference, so a seal goes in aggressive, takes care of the white boat. He's only got 22 health left, though. ECJ in a great spot. Ethan looking to play heroics. Good for one. Aaron taps. 30 seconds left. He's got armor! Oh! And he gets the kill! And here, knowing that potentially 100 Thieves has made their way towards blind, they know it. Ethan falls. They're actually going to contest this, Doug. I think they may, may, he did manage to see him just just by the narrowest of margins, but they look to punish that. And 100 Thieves, as you said, they contest. It'll be Nitro looking to play spoiler from back one, and I think they just saw where that came from, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. We did once again wise on who's playing over in that spot in wine from 100 Thieves. Eagle's still on the site. Eagle's good for one. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds. Hey, They're going to have to hurry. Right, and they're going to draw that out. Aaron's playing cover. Aaron's good for it, too, as he cleans up. Oh, and, and again, it's not just the two remaining members of Exit, it's the clock as well that's not. Can cheat a little bit more. Steal with the Bucky! Steal, good for one. Nano Swarm drops. Again, the problem with this playstyle is that you run out of time and there, there's really not a whole lot you can do. Steel gets the second one. Yeah, Aaron trades it out. Dwyfo looking for more. As Asuna still broken by. Actually, they're going to open things onto Steel with the Frenzy that's pure in the A site. Nitro on a pin. Just getting destroyed by Thwaipo in a really tough spot to be in. It's a three-on-five retake now for 100 Thieves. Lex, this is looking really good for Exit as they're going to get the Vipers pit in there as well. Thwaipo's in a decent spot. We did have to stay alive, though. Asuna using the run it back. The play into it. Not even going to get a chance. He didn't even spot a single player. Nitro's going to come back up. But again, it's in a brutal spot. Asuna's going to have to do a little bit of rinse and repeat. And Aaron's in a spot to play spoiler, and he does it. He's good for two with the Spectre. Asuna, who's tried working his way into this Viper's Pit two, three times now, and has been met with no success once there. And, and honestly, Nitro just being so, so strong, just pivoting perfectly, finding the second, almost grabs the third, gets bailed out. But really, it's it's actually just pure, uh, who isn't going to bring a rifle into things. Aaron has light armor, but aggression from Asuna. As they push back, Dwyfo got the wall up, and he spotted a couple of players across the middle of the map. The Hunter Series is going to come out as well as Dwyfo takes care of the initial aggression from Asuna and drops down. Here comes Spear with the showstopper. Good for it. Steel drops. And Spear continues to look for more. Dancing around the box. Gets a second one as well. What a... Sh the Hunter Series, man, he tags it. Nitro instantly. Oh. Yeah, spotted him on the drone. Didn't get the tag, but... Oh, man. His awareness is just unparalleled right now. 5v3 already. Dude, BCJ is on one. He's reading them, the, like, playing the map perfectly, reading it really well, able to get the kills with the Hunter Fury, and then understand having the presence of mind to know that they're being pushed in from the other side. BCJ good for a third as well. Ethan looking for the peak. We did punishes him. He going in a 1v4. One. Down, Just down to 11 health, man. Maybe, maybe it's now coming out. Cosmic Divide going to do so as well as Asuna looks to work his way forward. It doesn't look like there's going to be anything to clear out the lockdown. As Pure gets one with the showstopper, gets traded out instantly. There is one player who got messed up. Asuna. Oh my no goodness. Way. 
No way. Austin no might do it. Okay, Thwaifo comes up huge. As he gets it almost, so he got it at least to half. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he goes shock darts, but we didn't trade it out with a bit of a utility of his own. Hiko could for third. The next set, they have shown they're more than comfortable and more than willing to flip the map after drawing out some utility and making some things happen, but how many times have we seen Thwaifo in this spot? Oh. Man, it's BCJ who's good for it. Spot steal as well, not able to reach just by the narrowest of margins, but Hiko's Hunter Fury oh. pushes him back, and Thief uh, Thwaifo drops. That is a huge kill from Hiko onto the Waifo, and I wonder whether or not that's enough to deter the B-Push entirely. No, they're going to keep pressing forward. Well, they don't really have time to do other quest legs. 30 seconds left. Or any map control to speak of, and Nitro catching the shoulder of Aaron through that Viper's Wall, but Pure answers back onto Steel. The site is forfeit now, but Nitro, looking to hold on to things, gets deleted by BCJ, and it's just Hiko in a 1v3. Doesn't have a Hunter Fury, used it earlier, and has to work his way into a Viper's Pit. Eco. Trying to find a way in, see if he can catch any Lady Luck as he blindly fires into the Viper's Pit. And again, you see BCK has worked his way around. Incredible read of the situation. How buy here for 100 Thieves either? I mean, they're going to get what they can. I'm pretty sure. Okay, never mind. They do get an operator or rifles, it seems like. But never mind. Forget my last. But, on the other hand, and this kind of applies to both teams, yeah, both teams are, are without ultimates. You're one orb off of having a Brez. To push off the Operator, and look at how Steel, with all of the boosts that he's been, they, they've been going up, Steel's ready for it, but BCJ manages to win that 1v1 with the Operator staring him down. Pure is able to get onto one as well as Asuna looking to trade things back. Gets one, and the thing is they haven't made their way onto the site, like that Viper's wall is going to go up. Now... You see Spike creeping its way forward. Asuna playing very quietly on the other side. Curveball out. He swings with it. A little bit. Tag onto himself as Pure punishes him. Hiko trading it out. The spec, or excuse me, the Guardian good for one, but he's in a 1v4. Exit looking to put Hiko away, looking to put 100 Thieves away, looking to tie up the series at one apiece. An attempt to make this competitive or win it all outright. Early wall over me and BCJ finding Asuna who had no idea. And Ethan retreating into the corner. It's snuffed out as well. Two players already down for 100 Thieves, and the B side is forfeit to exit. And yeah, I mean, Steel's, Steel's alone. He's on site, but he's there. As of course, as I say that, he gets cleaned up. We did goes in aggressive onto Hiko, and the pistol goes. I mean, Whoa. to say it goes in favor of exit is is selling it short. Saw the other members of 100 Thieves working their way towards B, right into where X sets pushing. Now they don't have great guns. Steel's the only one with a better weapon. So you expect. Oh my gosh, down. what? Better weapon than Bucky still hurts, bro. Oh, oh and, then, and then you see that. <laughs> I jinxed it, man. I jinxed it. That was. That right. Fault line towards A main, slowing the push just a bit, but X set with all five players. They're coming here. They are, and you can tell they were comfortable going on the retake. They didn't want to be there initially. Nitro slowly, quietly, but surely trying to sneak his way around back into the belly of the beast. And now the jig's up. They know he's there, but he did manage to get a kill for his troubles. Aaron, however, is going to be able to do a bit of the same, but no, the timing's terrible. As, as he swings, they snap onto him. Clean him up. He did now see what he can do with the Bucky of his own. Asuna dash. Bucky misses. Oh. Again. Rifle round for both teams. And it's the same look. The one difference is they opt to push up into ramps this time where Nitro was able to cause problems from before. They take that area of the map. They're able to get a couple of kills too and wall off anyone coming in from vents. But Asuna still. The raise utility clean things, cleans things up. Excuse me. As Aaron manages with the operator in just a moment. Miss once. And he's, he, I lied, he's not even going to get a chance to... <laughs> Fault line was just too much. He does get a second one, but he was flashed up. Shot goes wide, not able to deliver it. But Hiko, good for one. Not going to breach of his own. He's going to get cleaned up. BCJ joins the fold again. The Viper's Pit is going to come out in a 5v2. Make that a 5v1 as Nitro, who was contacted at the very beginning. He's just hightailing it. Looking to save that operator, see if anybody can hunt him down. Nope. Splitting the upper from Ethan at the very beginning, like we've seen a couple of times. They just pushed their way through, and we did was wise to it. Managed to get one. It was just a bit too much as Ethan gets a second one with the Sheriff. Numbers advantage in favor of Hunter Thieves. As I say that, it gets traded out. 
a 2v2 here. The spike is down in the middle of the map. Steel and Aaron about to have an Astro Duel. Steel and a great alone over here for the moment. Not going to use that time to get the spike down just yet. Here it goes now. And the Rolling Thunder is going to put this one away more than likely. Tico whips out the ghosts and finishes. Ramps, because that's what's been on the other side a couple of times. It's actually Steel who's playing a bit off. But he's just so patient. And the flash was there. Oh my gosh, Asuna. But it doesn't land on anything. Steel's still good for two. The flashes are still there. Pure is trying to deal some damage with the utility. And it's the gun that cleans up Steel. Now he's got a showstopper of his own. He brings in from the previous round. He did. Gets the spike down. The thing is, this is this is winnable for 100 Thieves because of how weak they are. Well, I was going to say because of weed X set, X set is. Hydro good for one. In a 1v3. We did so weak. ECJ is certainly not super healthy either. Nitro! Oh! Nitro, baby! Nitro does it! Wow. And an absolutely chaotic round. Divide as well as the map is totally crossed stuff. The wife should be able to get the spike down. As we did, plays back in the corner. Excellent work from the observers to give us a bird's eye view of the chaos that's going on. Steel taking care of Aaron. Nitro still looking, understanding we did's likely back there. He knows a player is back there. And they're starting to smoke it out, but we did able to take care of Hiko anyway. Lifo dropping, we did still on the swing, just has to play enough oh. nuisance! BCJ and we did good for it, steal alone. For 100 Thieves, what a shot! He did down to 10 health, but again, this cross is so difficult. For steal, they're just trying to delay, right? Distract steal enough. For, for Xset, just to delay, to get the rotations in. You know, throwing the counter breach utility out has, has helped. It hasn't helped enough. It's early, early discipline A. Discipline corner. Pressure. Discipline corner. Oh, it's a discipline corner. And we will never check that. Nitro's able to mow him down. Hiko gets in on it as well. How many times, Lex? Let's check the discipline corner. Make sure there's no one there. Meet it's going to use the Viper's Pit to buy them some space on the site. As Aaron looks to play contact from A main. It's a, it's a difficult but doable retake for 100 Thieves as Ethan gets one. Piper's Pit almost seems to be hurting Exet more than helping at the moment, but... Rez comes out, it'll be a 5-on-3, oh. a 5-on-2. What? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, is there's no real... Alright, here comes Spear. Oh no! It's a dueling showstopper, and Asuna walks away with one! Hero doesn't land on it, but the rifle is what takes care of him. Weedit's gonna get the Rez. Bring him back into the fold. BCJ's Rolling Thunder clearing out the site. Tagged up a couple. The wall's gonna go up as well. Dueling Rolling Thunders. Coming out from Hiko. And after all of Ruckus, the cacophony that takes place on the site, everything comes. Ethan playing around the pillar. Ethan's gonna get punished. He gets taken out at the hands of Pure. Hiko's looking to do a bit of the same and may have a bit more luck. Just enough for one. He's still not down. Right, they're still feeling things out. Nitro has a blade storm. What can he do with the jet ultimate? A couple of players on the other player side of this. Here. Viper pit wall, steel drops. Nitro alone. Not able to land the, the blades that he needs. He's gonna dash back. Spots a couple of players, but again in a 1v3 here. Ultimate no longer in tow. 77 health. 30 seconds left. Now the spike goes down. Spike Seeming like an eternity later. Spike. Now he did has 10 health. See him. Kind of playing on the vents. As they turn their attention over towards B, they funnel in. Ethan already good for one. Steel working elsewhere on the map. As the spike drops. And the thing is, and he goes there. Nitro's there as well. But they aren't in a position where they can they can effortlessly get to the spike, right? Because you've got to cross from where the defender spawn is coming from. Aaron's good for it. Aaron's ah, not able to get a second as the clip runs dry. Around the pillar, not crucial. Map three. Lex, oh, they forced again. Exit has specters and buckies. Now that gravity wall may be a problem, but when my gosh, when you've got a bucky like that in the hands of Weeded, it's certainly going to help. Off the audio cues. Right, and Aaron. I mean, Aaron's getting messed up here, but now the the cavalry's coming over. Thirty left. Ethan, good for it. Oh, Aaron's there. Yeah, man. Aaron's good for one. The spike drops, and again, it's just delay delaying time, right? Wifo is now going to show up into a 1v1. Bucky potentially going to get an upgrade against Eco Spectre. Wifo gets a Spectre of his own. 
Health advantage slightly in favor of Hiko, and he's still understanding that's likely where Thwaifo's coming from. The flashpoint's gonna come out. Patient. Spots where Thwaifo is. Now Thwaifo drops. The flash is there. The shot's from there. As Nitro gets the spike down. This is very similar to where we saw these two teams in opposite spots before, and it was Hunter Thieves who was able to retake because of the... Because of the power that they were able to expose from heaven, the Rolling Thunder's gonna come out. BCJ looking to land a couple shots. Is he and Weeded are left alone. Yeah, BCJ good for it. Weeded's good for one as well. 2v2, both Austin and Nitro so dangerously weak. He drops as well. Nitro has the Blade Storm. 15 health. As the clock continues to play. Got a couple dashes, but he's wow. not able to push strength. Uh -oh. The middle of the map got taken. How did Asuna get through and decide undetected? Excuse me. Pure drops. He did like, what? My bad, man. How? On an island, has to fend for himself with just a specter in hand. He's eating every piece of utility. Asuna Showstopper's actually out. He did collect two. And so I <gasps> finds the third on Asuna, and it's a 2v2, Doug. What? The spike isn't down. And they don't really have time to flip the map, so they're going to have to stick to things here. Steel drops. Nico looking to get the plant down. The thing is the wall. So the wall was there, so he knows he's safe from one side. Gravity wall coming through, trying to push him oh, off. And it's man. an operator from Aaron that cleans him up. That round was absolute madness from beginning to end. It's a to work out for Exit as they spot the info. Nitro's in. But they were on the site, right? Like the Cosmic Divide is not going to delay anything except for the members who are on the late rotate. They're able to anchor the site from the site! Aaron just narrowly missing that last shot, but Ethan and Hiko are able to get a couple of their own. Now the rotate shows up, but it may... I don't know how they do this. Pure trying to blast pack across, get a gun, and as soon as he gets it, all hope the sliver of what may have been... Early, early B-split here now, Doug. Oh, it's gonna be right into we did. Gravity well pulling him through as well. Able to deal some damage. It's BCJ who shows up, try to play heroics. He is able to get one, but pays for it with his life. As it as we did, excuse me, gets pushed off the top. Even as he tried to reposition, it wasn't enough as he's gonna drop Ethan already good for three on the round with the Vandal. X set two members remaining. And Hundred Thieves, yeah, they should be able to get the spike down here with zero problem. Really good post plants as well. This does not look good for X set. No, and the positioning has been really uh, not bad at all for Exit, even in this round where yeah. all the pieces are in place to defend appropriately against what Hunter Thieves is throwing at you. Instead, though, you know, you almost feel like you're you're witnessing a few... Okay, Dwyfo. Oh. Now they've got entry. They've got entry. They're going to have to be pushing in from heaven. Dwyfo, good for another one, pure. Austin is going to challenge that 1,000% of the time in a 1v3. with expect Xset to be at an advantage at one point. They just missed, but another fast play coming in from 100 Thieves. We did wait with a jump oh to find three. Gosh. And a snake bite to follow. That's more damage coming out, but Hiko just runs right through it, knowing the damage that was just done to his team. The A site. He doesn't know it just yet, but it is clear, so the spike will come out any moment now. And it'll be a two-on-four retake for Xset to keep their hopes alive in this map, Doug. Spike planted. Hiko and Steel trying to anchor things down. Both playing on site. You got Astra Stars all over the place for Steel. Rez coming through for We Did, making things even even better. Just gonna execute. Speaking of executions, We Did. In the right place at the right time, Judge, Jury, ex Executioner just didn't even need to see the opponents he was shooting at. Lines three, big ones. Uh, I think kills two and three. Just yet. You've got a four on five retake scenario now. Do and you've got the Viper's Pit. Oh, it's still up, excuse me, across the middle of the map. Hiko did manage to get himself the Rolling Thunder, so you talk about adding insult to injury. The thing is, you can tell they understand they don't have presence across the defender spawn so they have to tr they have to like very cautiously work their way in you feel the pressure coming out the rolling thunder is going to follow steel swings with it as aaron drops and the thing is there's just so difficult to get past right now but they've got to do it because the spike continues to take away white folk good for one looking for a second he gets it but he's got nine health and what he doesn't have his time lex it's running out they can play this so safely as the spike is going to go off jay and the likes of exit 
full send. We did made his way into garage on the Phoenix that we highlighted. Good for one already on the Frenzy, and they pushed back any sort of resistance that may have been there otherwise as they're going to get full control of C. Now, the thing to notice for 100 Thieves, you see they've taken through B. They're going to work their way back up into garage to go and steal. While Hiko's going to be coming in from the top, he's going to be pouring in that utility over the top as well to make things a bit more difficult. Steel drops. Keep an eye on Aaron as he's on a swing as well. We did catch this one. He understands where the other player is as well. But Asunade Hiko, we did good for oh. four. BCJ gets the last himself up top to be able to take care of the ultimate curveball across. Gets a good, a good kill there on to Pure as he looks for a bit more. Again, Seal behind enemy lines. There's Asuna's running back. Not going to net a ton. It was, it, was, it was actually Ethan who gets the kills. Looking for a third and tees him up, knocks him down. Aaron's left alone. Guess who's on the other side? And a really, really... Asuna curve, Asuna's curveball is not going to tag anything up. As we did gets the spike down. Now, the thing is, Aaron's in a great spot, but gosh, gosh if he doesn't look to the left, it may be a problem. Steel drops. Now Aaron's able to play back, stay alive, as, they, as they're going to try to fight through the havoc of the utility that's going to be headed that way. Ethan's got a res, but he only has 23 health. All right, he's going to bring Asuna back into the fold. Understanding where Pyrrhus comes from, Aaron with a swing, a beautiful swing, as he gets to understanding Nitro. Eight bullets is alone here, but again, Aaron's weak, Pyrrhus even weaker, so he certainly has a chance oh. at it, tries! To turn around and deliver the haymaker, but not able to do it as Pure takes care of him. Oh, and you could tell, man, even Nitro was starting to step away. But my gosh, he was in a good spot to deal more. Only good for one. BCJ trades it out. Xset's going to be able to get the spike down. And now the remaining members of 100 Thieves make their way towards C. Nobody covering the choke. The rotate point around B, so they're going to be able to get through just fine. BCJ going aggressive. Good for one. Good for a second. Wow. Gets four on the round, and Pure takes the last away. As Xe gets punished, Hiko manages to get away. Oh, and deal some damage. My gosh, Hiko. Oh my gosh, Hiko, another one? I think BCJ is yelling at Weeded right now for that flame wall, but that's okay. <laughs> oh. You know, they've got... Where we do this. Yeah, Hiko's got... On his fury out, Thwaifo bailing oh, out this exit. Oh, plant, man. Sheriff's I mean, they're not... They're not out of the woodworks yet. Because Thwaifo's super weak. They have a decent setup on where they are. They spotted a player. Nitro. Nitro. Aaron. How many times was except? Keep your eye on the minimap. Austin is already up towards a lobby. Hunter's Fury getting caught by BCJ, who's been flawless today. And he oh finds gosh. another one on the Nitro. This man can't be stopped. He's so good. And then Weed gets it as well. He goes to try to do a bit of his own with the Hunter's Fury. I know exactly. As the cosmic divide comes through as well. The neural theft, my gosh, everything. They're throwing everything in the kitchen sink at him. Pure going aggressive with the showstopper takes care of Ethan. Asuna's on the flank, and Asuna has run it back. As he's going to join Hiko. The curveball comes out. I have a confidence with which they're just swinging that. And he gets a kill onto him. Looking for a bit more. Asuna still being patient. Oh my gosh, I thought he I think he thought he had the kill pulled off. Either one no. back gets popped. Exit is on the site now. Oh, but the paranoia. Oh, the paranoia. The paranoia hits two and Nitro's able to clean them up. Yeah, BCJ trades it out. But again, you're buying time, right? Like you're able to delay things. And now Exit goes, well, do we commit to this site? We have time to pull off, but they've been able to assume such good post plans. Exit in a decent spot here, Aaron. Aaron not able to pull off the heroics at the very end. It was steal and Aaron. Right? Right. Previous round, it felt like it was Asuna who was doing it with the front back straight into their front laps, right? Like, they've, they've just been able to apply pressure at just the right time. Asuna good for one on the we did. Slowing thing down. Exit, steal, posted, oh. finds pure. And they are not only financially comfortable enough to invest in an operator that allows this to happen. They're comfortable enough to not even rotate right away. Steel oh just making magic happen. It's, it, again, it just almost looks too easy for Steel in those moments where he knew that they were going to be rotating back into him with how much time was left and all the information that was gathered elsewhere on the map. He's just able to pop a squat and really mow him down. Now, the thing that's even harder for Exit here is 100 Thieves, they have, be, they have a link control. 
they have a uh, presence up towards the defender spawn, and they're going to be coming in from A long as well. Etc. Stuck, right? Like they're pinched in. Zero. We'll see if he can make anything happen with it as the spike goes down. And that's a cheek. That's a one way, right? That's a cheeky oh. little one way wall there. I love that. I'm, I don't think I've seen that. Oh my goodness. I want to say it was. I want to say it was Nitro who put it out first, but either way, Ethan's picking right up with it. They're able to leverage out one way to kill a one player trying to work his way in from the defender spawn. Weeded gets messed up as well, and they can't really find their way in from that side. When you pile that on with the fact that Steel still has garage control, there's really no way into the site, Lex. Yeah, and Ethan's hitting his shots in a big way, finding four, looking for his ace, and there it is. Battle Sage. A little bit of a bank if possible. And get shot in the face by oh, Aaron. Wow. Awesome answer back to you, though. Yeah, it was, a, it was a cool little combo that they had set up with the gravity well. He was able to get one, but then Asuna just really showing. Yep, and this is, I mean, we're going all the way back to the beta days with the setup like this on to be with the Sage wall. And note that Asuna's one point away from getting his right back, but it's actually Hiko who gets the first one, but the shock dart, no less, and a Spectre to follow it up. And then in poetic fashion, he gets cleaned up by the Roomba. Ethan's got the res online, but he may not need it. As it's he and Asuna was made at C, the hit's actually towards B. Right, Ethan was able to take so much of that space away because of the distraction that was happening on C. Hunter Fury's gonna come out, BCJ again! Oh Good for God. another one and a second! How does he do it, man? I don't, I don't know. I really don't. I was gonna finish that thought, and then I'm like, here's Hiko in a 1v5 with a Hunter's Fury from mid-window. There's... Like, they're trying to lean towards C. Wall's going up. Aaron's in a great spot. Man, stuff is dead in its tracks, Whoa. and that's exactly what Whoa. he does. We did! We did good for two. Hunter's Fury's coming up from Hiko, but it might not matter. We did hunting, right? He can smell blood in the water. He wants more. He's already got three on the round. Hiko may be the last kill that he's looking for. Not gonna get a chance to do it here. But he goes, a man alone. <laughs> on site early on. There goes the run it back. He did looking for something. He going to be just on the other side. Oh, and the op shot from Nitro. Close lines pure as he's trying to get a beat on to Hiko. And the shot dart was there for it as well. As he goes just fine. Holding down that sea long area. And again, if it's not him, it's Nitro with the op who's able to. Oh, and they, they, I mean, they invest a lot into that fake, right? Like the wall goes up. They use. The ult to commit to it and at least make him bite a bit more time, but Austin is there. Austin again opening up the site for Hundred Thieves as he's able to get two with the curveball. Looking for a bit more. As Nitro's off is anchoring things down. There's no entrance through short. There's waiting on the first thing they see. As they still stay true, right? They're still staying home. The the cosmic divide, excuse me, is coming out. Pure with the op. Good for it. As Steel drops, they're going to try to work their way on the site, but they're going to have to push through that. The counter wall comes up from Sage. Ethan good for one. And it looks like they should be able to get the spike down, but BCJ! BCJ again! It might not have been a kill, but it may have just bought him enough time! Oh, it looks like the spike is going to go down at the hands of Ethan anyway. As they try to push through a chaotic fight for the site, as BCJ stands strong yet again. He gets two. He gets them to 11 at one. As Nitro's up on top, just narrowly missing the second shot, punished by Steel. As they get on to A. From the shed, I was already paying off, but he's conceded the heaven position. Grabbed an operator. This is this double stack is actually a great place to be with an op, but it doesn't matter. Oh, early use from Hiko using the Hunter Fury. You imagine I thought he was gonna save for a post but he actually opts to use it now. BCJ going in aggressive, taking care of Steel. We did from up top, dropping down. The thing is, you have to go in aggressive here, right? Like, you have to meet them where they're at so you can get some space for the defuse. Eat it. Wall goes up. Uh -oh. BCJ starting to hold it. Eat it. Gotta go in aggressive. But BCJ might stick it. The Mad Lad just... In the side of X set, it was just a little preemptive. You think of how close that defuse was. If you could just buy BCJ a little bit more time, maybe that's doable, but... Wow. Razor Thin is not even close to describe shot for 100 Thieves, but... Austin already healed back up. Ethan soon to give heal. Ooh. Oh. All right, so it swings. It's, mind. Yeah, but they have to respect it, right? And BCJ is able to capitalize on that with the Bucky shot. He isn't able to upgrade his weapon. He's the only one who's there who still doesn't have one. Still playing tight. 
Need its curveball, just waiting patiently. Oh my gosh, BCJ with the jumping Bucky. Taking care of Asuna, and the spike is down. My gosh, they might do this, Lex. This is definitely Xset's moment, Doug. 20 seconds left, too. But Nitros with the op. BCJ and Dwight for the last two. The Reap steals on the flank. Still gets both, ladies and gentlemen.